So this is going to be the step-by-step -step guide for all the people who are trying to do it for the first time because I'm doing it for the first time as well. But as I saw, it's quite an easy process. So first of all, go to Chia website and once you're on the website, you can select whenever you want to install it on Windows or the Linux. So this is the information. Let's go to download. I have Windows, Mac OS, Ubuntu and uh, CentOS. Yeah, so let's choose Windows. Yes, save the file. Oh, it's not so small. Let's wait a moment. For the safety reasons, I would actually recommend you to use Linux because on Windows it's much more easier to get a virus or something like that. So just for that, I would recommend you to use Linux. But as I have a free copy and legal copy of a Windows CTS machine, I decided to go for Windows in this case. Once the download is completed, start the file. It should not take long once it started. Windows Defender, no, allow it. And here we go. We got a main screen. Uh, as this is a new installation, create a new private key. Okay, next. This is your secret words. So, of course, you should keep them safe and write down the best way on the paper. The safest way would be write down on the paper because these are really important. So for that case, let's just skip this one and let's go to the process where I already finished the keys. So once you write down the, the words in the order, you will be greeted with the main screen of the application. Full node. Now we have a full node in here, uh, basic information. If we go to the wallet, we will see a wallet information in here. This is my wallet receive address. Uh, now plots. I don't have any plots yet. Loading, loading. Also, there is no information yet. Let's go to the pool. And here we can join the pool. Obviously, now it's much better to join the pool than to do a solo farming because user base is increasing very quickly and to win a Chia it's really hard. So it's better to get little by little. And this is the reason I kind of think of this is as an investment as I would return, get some returns little by little. This is what I want. I don't want to get to win a lottery after some time and get a huge prize. I want to get the money, the Chia the revenue little by little. Let's press on join the pool. And first thing, we need to get a little bit of chair in our wallet. So let's ask to get that from the house. Let's just copy this one. Let's go here. Let's paste it. Let's select I'm not a robot and press submit. Okay, now I should get the small amount of chia very soon. It might take a couple of minutes until the chia is received. So let's wait a moment and once the chia is in there, we can continue. Okay, so it's almost one day and my wallet still haven't received any chia at 1.00001 something like that chia that I could start do plots and pulling. While looking at this screen I noticed that status is still syncing. It's almost finished. It's like I said more than one day but it's still syncing. That's quite a long time I would say. I did not expect it that but I think this is why I don't have that coin in my wallet because it's not yet fully synced. So let's wait until it's fully synced and then we will see. At last, after one and a half or almost two days, my node, my wallet was synced. As you can see, I even got a haircut that took hell a long time. I mean, I did not expect it, but it would take such a long time. And now, now, now it's synced and we can continue our procedure. It's synced, it's connected, we have a peak high, everything looks fine. If I go to my wallet, yeah, I can see that I did receive that small amount of chia and I can start forming and I can make some plots. So here we can see a plot, here we can see a form, but first let's join 
a pool. So let's press connect to a pool. In my case, I decided to go to the space pool. I saw it on a couple of videos and uh, looks like quite a nice, quite a good pool. So now I'm gonna join a space pool. So let's go to their website. If we go to their website, we can see mainnet pool.space. This is the URL. Here is some basic information. As we can see at the moment, estimated time to win is two hours. So it looks like winning is quite high. Of course, only small percent of that will be granted to, let's say me or to some other people. How do I join? Yeah, just press on how do I join. So as we have everything installed, now we have the pool names. So in this case, I will need, can, is, is it a copy button? No, not, I don't know why it's highlighted and it does not want, what, what's going on? Come on, what's wrong with this website? I mean, it's not even possible to select it. Great, at least I was able to select the URL of the pool. Something is really wrong with this website. Now, once it's selected, let's paste the pool URL. Let's leave the field empty and let's press create. Okay, looks like I was able to join a pool and I got automatically generated name of Crimson Game Foul. I have no idea what that means, but let's say, okay. So another thing that we have to do, farm will go later on, we have to add some plot. So let's press on add a plot size. Let's leave the default size of around 100 gigabytes. For now, let's leave the number of plots one as well. As we want to know the speed, especially this machine speed of how long it will take for it to make a plot. When we'll have a little bit more data and with that data, we can make the pooling plot in parallel and set up that it would, another plot would start after the first stage of a plot is completed. So for now, let's leave one and let's check what other settings we have to select. Let's select the threads, let's say let it be eight threads from yeah let's leave like four that should be enough now for the temporary directory we have to select that fast ssd we have on our computer and by fast i mean that one the one that's connected to m2 port not the one the simple one that i have my windows on so let's select it we have this one 500 gigabytes. Final. Let's select our Toshiba. Yes, let's select the pool. The one in which we got that Crimson Game Foul name. Because we don't want to do a solo farming as it might take ages until we get something. We want to get little by little for the space we will give to the pool. Because we want to invest and have revenue each month not let's say once a year or something like that and optionally you might not even get it great everything looks fine i'm not sure about the threads actually if i should leave it like eight or less if i'll do later on in parallel i might need to tweak with settings but as it's one plot i guess it should be okay and let's press create great it started creating a plot as I can see, my CPU is increasing. RAM memory is also increasing a little bit. Now, if we press view vlog, we can see some information in here. Okay, so finally, plotting has started. Let's leave this first plot to be generated and let's see how long it will take. And uh, is this machine even worth trying doing? this kind of chia mining so yeah i can see the processor is not working at full speed yet only less than 40 percent so not that much gpu is also actually there is no gpu it's just a virtual the one that's attached to the motherboard of this machine so let's wait 
and let's see how long it will take to create one plot. I was playing with the settings of plotting and now my E drive is full, the fast one. And as you can see, it's like plotting. One is 100%, another is 62% and another one is 16. If we take a look at logs, we can see that it has an error at it will retry in five minutes yeah it was working fine fine and looks like the third started and this is where it stopped of course at the beginning you have to find out the best plotting settings for your machine and i took a look from the first plot my machine did i took a look at how long the first stage took because it uses the most of a processor power and after that it's more like a hard disk and so on and I set up uh, it was two hours which was quite good I would say for, for such a machine for such an old machine so it was two hours not the top performing result but it was acceptable for me and I set up the plots that another one would start after two hours when the first stage of the first plot is done and as you can see the third one started when the first two were not finished and now we have a bottleneck and the bottle bottleneck is drive e the fast m2 ssd drive in which all the calculations are being done it's uh, i have it only 500 gigabytes so while plotting i can do only two plots in parallel and in this case that's the issue because after two hours okay the second one starts so after four hours the first one is not yet finished and uh, that is not good as you can see everything just stopped nothing is ha nothing is going on logs like trying and that's all okay so let's try to delete some and let's see what will happen so as we can see yeah it was fine at the beginning stages were doing quite nice quite well and then it stopped it was compressing the table six and seven but now it's not doing that anymore so if we go through our logs we can see the tables five and six everything was fine everything was nice until the third plotting started and it was a phase three of out of the four okay let's close the logs let's try to delete the delete the plots that are queued i'll create a new ones because timing is not good for this so let's just delete them for now okay and the last one that's 16 percent i guess we can delete it as well good it's deleted now let's see if current plotting will resume or not let's take a look at the log nothing is happening yet it still says error one retrying in five minutes we can see that we have some space in local disk e so now it has enough space and it should be able to continue the procedure well i guess we'll have to wait like five ten minutes and we'll see what's going on if the process continues or if these plots are lost some time has passed let's check the logs of these plots let's go down and we can see like hooray it continued something is going on we can see that it was error here is the error and the procedure has continued so now we have like eight bucket eight uniform ram okay great looks like it's work let's refresh the space on our e-disk oh well, yeah we still have space like 84 gigabytes so that's quite enough okay so a little bit more time has passed and as you remember those plots were working were, were continued quite nicely but they stopped um, I did not record it that screen at that moment, but after some time we did we did some kind of plotting and so on and everything stopped. So in the end I had to remove those plots and start over. Unfortunately, if you won't calibrate your process and it will stop because of lack of space, 
most likely everything will be lost. So keep that in mind. So I hope this was useful. I'll let you know later on how it's going on, how the drive, if once the drive is finished, what are the revenues for for the plot for the for the farming? Yes, that's for the farming, not for the plotting. So I will let you know in the separate video, maybe two or three weeks later, two or three weeks later, once everything is plotted and I have some results. And for now, thank you for watching. I hope it was useful. Click that like button if you like the video, dislike if you don't, let me know why, so that I could improve in the future, and see you next time. Cheers!